last week we got a text from one of our neighbors. He sent us a picture of one of his cows and one of our cows that he took with his drone that were actually up still in the hills. They aren't way up in the hills, they're on a place that we just call Crow Peak, um, which is right on the edge of the hills, so they aren't too far up there. But the snow was pretty deep. We weren't able to go, get up there and get him at that time. So today I'm driving to meet him right now. We're gonna see if we can't find him again. Maybe shoot the drones up, look around, see if we can see him. And if we can, we'll try and move him around somewhere. We can get him. If we can't, we'll just wait until they show up. But I'm on my way to meet him right now. I met up with our neighbor Casey Miller and we decided to just shoot up the drones and see what we could see. Sure enough, after a couple of minutes, we found some cows standing out in the snow. So this is our neighbor, Casey Miller. He's been chasing these cows for a couple days. Casey, you want to tell us how it's been going? Well, we're getting closer to them. There they are right there. Yeah, here's one of them. So we got two pair up here. But you saw them on your drone. Yep, uh, last week. Last we got a week. report there up here. I found them with our drone, and then Carson found them with his this morning. Yeah. We got them pictured probably a mile away, half a mile away. Yeah. And we were able to drive up here and find them. So we think it's one of ours and one of your guys', right? That's what we're hoping. That's good. So we got up to those cows and realized the picture that Casey took the other day was two cows with white tags. And these two cows were ours with orange tags. So there's, they're not the there's same There's more cow. than two up here. <laughs> <laughs> Figures, right? So I'm just gonna shoot the drone up again. See if we can find the other ones. At least we found a couple. We'd like to find Casey's too. Needed. Please check it on the map. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing, huh? Nothing. <laughs> Jeez, that's weird. I mean, it doesn't mean they aren't there, but... I know it, but what do you mean? I don't know where they Is would have gone. Farther past those cows, maybe that direction? Yeah, I went that way too. Yeah. Like from where we were. Yeah. And then I went to the west more. And kind of all, just kind of a couple big circles around. So I don't know. I know it's weird that they're not together. That's odd. It's really odd. I'll take another sweep around. It's really rough going south of those cows, didn't it? I mean, it didn't yeah. like there should be much up there. It's, I mean, it's pretty much all uphill. Yeah. Going up here, I can show you. Well, yeah. I'd... Right. The orange tag turned into a white tag. Yeah. Yeah, like a reflection or? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, that's white as can be, though. They look pretty white to me. Suppose the sun was hitting that weird and ah, man, I don't know. But the calf's the calves red, red. So I mean. Right. How can there be two more up in here? <laughs> Dude, I don't know, that is strange. That's odd. Well, what do you think we should do? I I don't down. know. That's a, that's a hard question. I think we found them, I think we gotta try to get these two out of here. Yeah. I'd say we go down here a little farther. Did you fly all the way to um, Crow Peak parking lot there? 
back to where we were? Yeah, from here. Not from here. Well, I got pretty close. Okay. Yeah. Because I was wondering maybe if they're just in the trees heading toward the water. Right. I guess if these two are mine, I would get them. Not, not leave them up here. Exactly. No, we'll get them. I mean, there's probably two more up there somewhere. Yeah, there's got to be. It's just weird. I'd like to find yours too. Yeah, I don't understand. We haven't heard anything about ours for a long time, so. Really? You know, you always wonder, well, did we miscount on the way up? Right. I mean, that stuff happens very easily. Oh, it happens all the time. I think we do it every year. So I should, <laughs> I should go back and cross off those tags and figure out if you're actually are missing one or not. Yeah. What we end up doing is you have two cows the same number or something. Like an old cow and a young cow. Right. And that doesn't happen very often, but we have a handful. Right, it does so happen. So then you write them down twice, and then you cross them off once. And... Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's easier said than, or easy, easier done, isn't it? You know? Yep. Yeah. Come on, girls. Come on down there. Hey. Psst. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So those tags are white, these are orange. But we're thinking maybe the sun hit the tags weird and made them look white. Cause there's no reason. This is a long ways from our permits, and from your guys too, isn't it? Well, this is our permit. This is yeah, yours, this yeah. This is, but they're not supposed to be up here. This is a right. horrible spot for them to be. Yeah. But we're getting them. We'll get them out. Yeah, we'll get these anyway. Hey, Dad. So we found two pair up here with the drone, and we got them headed down to that Higgins Road. But they're both ours, two-year-olds. Well, you know that picture Casey sent us? They both had white tags. And these both has orange. Well, we didn't think so, but Casey was wondering if, you know, the sun hit the tags weird and just made it look white. I know, it seems kind of weird. So you think there's four up here too? Two other ones? Right. Well, I flew all over and didn't see anything else. Yeah, I'm up. They're kind of on a bench up on Crow Peak. And that's, that's where I'm at now. But they're, they'll be, I'll have them down in Higgins in no time. But I was just gonna see if you wanted to bring a trailer up. Maybe, if we had some panels somewhere no they're pretty calm I don't think we'd need a horse but. Uh, Casey's got a four-wheeler I got the side-by-side -side. we might be able to get him unless I just tell him to take off which I could okay Sounds good. Okay. Do you, uh, we do have one bale. You think it'd be easiest to load them at the Crow Peak parking lot or there's like a little cross fence past the houses? Should we go there? Where do you think it'd be easiest to load them? Can you hear me? Okay, okay. I'll bring him way down there then. Okay, I'm losing you. Right, no, not really. Yeah, yeah. Over by Luder's house. 
Okay, I'll bring them down. Know. There. I don't know the guy that's. I don't know the guy that owns it. But right. I'll throw in half a dozen pounds and come up there. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay. See you in a bit. Later. Bye. Bye. One time, we had a cow in the forest get left, and we followed a bunch of coyote tracks and mountain lion tracks. When we found this poor old girl, and the snow was deep, and so we jumped out of the horse trailer with our horses and went and found her. And we trailed her down to the road and she jumped into the horse trailer with no panels, no trap, no nothing. <laughs> she was so ready to get she out of there. She was ready to get out of there. She said, let's go home. Because the coyotes and lions the coyotes were, and mountain lions were circling right her. Through. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. So it happens. Yeah, you know. it does happen. So Casey, how long have you guys been ranching? Uh, so dad's, uh, his great grandfather ranched uh, West or east of Spearfish, uh, so he started our ranch in 1990s. Okay. And so yeah, we've been around for quite a while. Thirty some years. So. Yeah. They just live right down the road from us, so we end up doing a lot of this type of stuff together, for better or worse. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's good to have good neighbors. It is. It is good to have good neighbors. Right. What do you want to do? Uh, Try and get them here? Yeah, I think we can load them along this fence down here. Okay. I'll go I'll down a ways fence. and make a little pen. Okay, I'll just you bring them slow. Them slowly. Okay, sounds good. Just give me a few minutes to set the panels up. Okay, sounds good. Come on, hey. Come on. Sst, sst, sst. Hey cow, hey. Come on, turn around. Come on. Go on in there. Hey, come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey, cow. Hey. Move it. Come on. There we go. So we got those two cows loaded and we actually went back up the mountain, Casey and I did, and we flew the drone around some more to see if we could see his cows, but we weren't able to see anything. So he saw them a week ago and he said they kind of took off when he was flying his drone around looking for them. So they might have headed west, they might kind of make their way down out of the hills or to where somebody will see him and we can go get them for him, but it's just hard to say. They could. They could be anywhere and it's, it's really hard to see and that's some really rough country so we can only guess where they've gone. We think they'd go where it's kind of easy to walk and where there's water but they're cows. We have no idea what they do or why they do it. So hopefully they'll show up but we're really grateful to have gotten those other ones. The cows we just got were right about up here on Crow Peak. So they were two two year olds which means they were, they were younger cows. This was their first year up in the hills. They spend their year before that out in Wyoming as where we keep our replacement heifers. So they didn't really know where they were. Usually if they're with an older cow and she, know where, she knows where she's at, she'll bring them home or keep them with the rest of them. But these two, they were a long ways from where they should be, probably 15 miles. But they did do the right thing. So they were south of here, 15 miles into the hills. They were working their way north, kind of making their way home. So they got to the edge of the hills and just kind of got stuck. So they were doing the right thing just kind of not in the right area, but that's all right. We're thankful that they showed up. Uh, yeah, kind of crazy stuff. We're starting to have a little bit of ringworm show up in our steers and heifers here at the feedlot. 
So we learned that that could be because of a zinc deficiency. So we got some really high, high percentage zinc supplement that we're mixing in with the, with the feed ration. And hopefully that'll cure it. it. It does take a little while, but we talked to the vet and he said that should get on top of it. So hopefully their ringworm will clear right up and they won't have any here in a few weeks. So we have got some calving preparations to do. So we're tearing out, we're pulling out all of this old sawdust on both sides of the barn and then we'll be re-bedding it. So Jock is over there now on that side doing that. But the wind rower was dead, the battery was dead. So I'm just gonna jump that quick, pull this out here so he can start pulling it out, out of this side as well. But looks to be looking pretty good. so close. Hey, there she goes. So now I'm just gonna start cleaning up all this junk. So Jock can come in here and scrape her all out. Yeah, I think it looks real nice. And all this oh, I know it stops, old stuff. It getting that stuff. Doing that and it, don't, it doesn't drag anything else, you know. Yeah. It just skids over the top. Yeah. Fresh stuff in there. Yeah, some fresh sawdust. Yep. It'll look nice. Oh, yeah. Starting to feel like calving season. <laughs> we usually get a whole bunch of sawdust from the sawmill in town. They usually just bring it out, fill up our whole calving lot. So some of this new stuff I'll just bring into the barn. We can spread it around. Can't go much further. Well, thank you guys for coming along today. We do really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. It feels really good to have gotten a couple more cows out of the hills. There shouldn't be much more if there's any. Um, it's just, it's really hard to know sometimes, but hopefully we can get those other ones of Casey's as well. I hope they'll show up. Um, feels good to be getting some calving prep work done so anyway I'll thank you guys again for coming along really appreciate it we'll see you in the next one